Happy New Year! Woo! It's 2019! That's kind of scary. Akimashite <laughs> omarito! Yay! So I am going to, as you can probably tell from the title of this video, I'm going to read a letter that I wrote to myself when I was 17 years old. Before I do that though, I hope everyone had a great Christmas. I got some awesome stuff, honestly. I got this dress, which if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have already seen. It's so cute. It's a Sum Sum dress. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So this is my, one of my best friends got me this and I love it so much. So thank you. I also got a Polaroid camera. Boom. And it's yellow. On brand, so on brand, I love it. I've already taken, I've only taken three photos, well, four photos with it so far, but one is now with my friend. <laughs> so I got, my friend took one of me, I don't know if you can see, in Glasgow, which is very cute. And I took one of my dog, which just, she looks so cute there. And I also took one of my parents, which I will just keep over here, but next to our Christmas tree, which is very, very cute. Oh, I got these really cute pajamas from my parents. This lady from Lady and the Tramp and they're so fluffy. This makes me so happy. And the ears are so soft as well. The ears are like extra fluff, so. This will be very, very, very handy because Scotland is very cold in the winter. This is a really cute, this is a mug. I've not actually opened this yet, let's open this. This is a mug that you can decorate with like different stickers, I think. It's got a pug on it, I think. Oh no, it's not a pug, it's like a, a wee French, what is that, French bulldog? So this is really cute and it says, fancy dress Frenchie on the back and then there's a bunch of stickers that you can decorate it with. This is so cute. So it can be a pup cake, which is adorable. What does this one say? A mare dog. Oh my gosh, yes. I have nothing but time for that. <laughs> a whiffle. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, Jurassic bark. I'm loving these puns, I must say. And hot dog. They are so cute. I don't know what one I'll do first. You guys need to tell me what one to do first because I can't decide. I also got, let me see, I got some clothes for work. I got some bath stuff. I got a lot of chocolate, which I am very excited about. And then I went to go and see um, Wreck-It Ralph 2 with my friend for my birthday. And we went into the Disney store afterwards and I had, I think it's like 15% off you get for your birthday. So I got Shanks as a Sum Sum because I have decided that she is my new wife and I love her. So I have a vanilla P1 over there so they can sit together over there. But now, let's see what 17 year old me did. So to explain what this was about, when I was 17, and I don't, I honestly don't remember why I decided to do this, but I decided that I was every year on my birthday, I was going to write a letter to myself in, I think, is it six years time then? I honestly don't remember what I wrote in this. So I wrote on it, do not read <laughs> until the correct date. And I have absolutely no idea what's in this letter, so. I'm actually quite nervous. My heart's beating quite loud. 25th of December, 2012, I dated my letters. I'm a professional. That awkward moment where you're sitting on the toilet, oh my gosh, start praying to thank God for a great Christmas and a blessed 16 years of life when you possibly figure out what God's been hinting at you to do your, with your life since you first watched Pokemon at Lewis's house. So, <laughs> wow, that is a good opener for a letter. 16 year old me, well done. Um, so to clarify, my friend <laughs> Lewis, um, I used to go around to my friend's house and watch Pokemon and um, like Sailor Moon and Hamtaro and stuff that I now know was anime but back then I, it was just the cartoons that were on Jetix and I didn't know they were Japanese. I feel pretty dumb that I've not figured it out before. I mean, I've watched anime since I was five, I just didn't realise it was anime. I've just told you that. Pokemon, Mew Mew Power, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, Vocaloid. Everything's been leading up to this. I think I was having like an epiphany on my birthday this time. <laughs> it just took me a while to figure out what linked all my obsessions together. Japan. Doi. I've wanted to visit Japan for about a year now. I spelt now wrong. I spelt now with a K. Oh my gosh. And now I think God wants me to too. I don't know why he's put this love for Japan in my heart. The people, the language, the culture, the media, the food, the clothes, but he has. About a month ago, a bridge collapsed in Tokyo, trapping a large group of workmen under it. Oh, I remember that. I know that if that had happened anywhere else in the world other than the UK or Japan, I wouldn't have paid as much attention to what was going on. That sounds really bad, oh my gosh. I would now, I'd like to clarify, if anything like that happened anywhere in the world, I'd pay attention to it. Wow, I was not very nice when I was 17. <laughs> I really do think that God is calling me to go to Japan. There aren't that many Christians in Japan, which royally sucks, but maybe, just maybe, I could help to change that. 
I'm not entirely sure what it is God wants me to do, but I have two thoughts in mind. One is to translate the Youth Bible and or the Message Bible into Japanese. I've not checked this, but I'm guessing only the King James Version or one like it will have been translated, which can be hard for children and young people like me to understand. That is actually true. I did check this, um, Christmas has just passed actually, because I tend to post at least a part of the Christmas story onto social media every Christmas. Um, and because I have a decent number of uh, Japanese speakers following me now on Instagram, um, I decided I was going to look it up in Japanese as well, and it's just the King James Version that's in Japanese, which is the one with all the V's and those. It's quite hard for people to understand. I actually completely forgot I wanted to do that. That's... I might think about that. The other thought was to join one of the disaster relief teams out there, preferably a Christian one. Oh, I didn't know I wanted to do that either. Loads of bad stuff happens in Japan. Earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, nuclear leaks slash explosions, which I spelt with a T instead of an S. I want to go back in time and slap myself in the face with a dictionary right now. They may be terrible things to happen, but they can be great opportunities, also spelt wrong, to show God's love to people. So as soon as my watch alarm signals that it's now the 26th, meaning that I am now 16, I'm wondering if the future me reading this is reading it from Japan. Not quite yet. Hopefully next year. I wonder a lot of things. How did you do in your hires? I got two A's, sorry, three A's, two B's and a C in my hires. That's your um, exams that get you into university in Scotland. What did you end up taking in sixth year? I took uh, higher French because I had uh, dropped it after fourth year. I took advanced higher chemistry and geography. And was that it? Did I only do three subjects in sixth year? Hmm, yeah, that was it. I did three subjects in my last year of high school. Did you get to do marine biology at Glasgow? No, no, no. Precious little Vicky, you drop marine biology as an idea and you go into teaching. Wow. Have you ever been drunk? No. If so, bad Vicky. Had sex yet? <laughs> no, I haven't. If you have, that means you're married. Haven't had sex yet. What's he like? Not married. Do I know him yet? Not married. Do you have any kids? Nope. What are their names? If you had a little girl, did you call her Kyrie? Oh wow, the obsession was real back then. Are you still in touch with Ailey, Rachel, Mary, and everyone else? Oh, I'm not in touch with any of them. They were my best friends in high school. I should message them. I hope so. Did you ever figure out what it is that makes your lips swell up? Yes, I did. I am allergic to an E number found in Cadbury's chocolate, which is why I try and avoid Cadbury's chocolate, because it makes my lips swell up. Is Facebook still around? Yup. Do you remember Tess? Now, I'm assuming that means my dog, which, duh, she's still here. <laughs> For crying out loud, Vic, you're a sap. I've started crying because Ailey put happy birthday Nike in big capital letters as her BBM personal message. Oh my gosh, who remembers Blackberry Messenger? I don't think anyone uses that anymore. Nike was my nickname from my friend Ailey. It was based off of the Greek goddess Nike because she was the goddess of victory and that's what my name means. Do you remember all of Ailey's nicknames for us? Nike, White Mage, etc. Yeah, she used to call me White Mage. And do you remember all the banned phrases? I do not remember us having banned phrases. Fair enough, fail, lol. That girl is crazy, but I love her to bits. I do not remember us having banned phrases, that's quite funny. I also love how this has turned into a full-scale letter to my future self rather than just a record of what I hope will happen when I'm older. I bet I still won't be in the front room at, insert a dress here, with the blue walls and the black computer chair, the onesie hanging off the door along with the dressing gown and the purple, gold and blue school music tie, the bed covered, spelt wrong, with Christmas presents that I need to find a place for, the telly in mum and dad's room playing Have I Got News For You way too loud. <laughs> I'm getting tired now, so me thinks I'm off to bed. I'm going to put this in the back of my Bible and not open it till my 22nd birthday. Wow, that seems so far away. I'll be expecting a reply. Oh, I'm so cheesy. Hopefully YouTube's still up and running so you can stick your reply up there. And in case you were wondering, at this point in time, the 16 year old you still has dreams of being, oh my gosh, no, this is so bad. Still has dreams of being a cosplay pop star in CPV, which was the name of a cosplay group I used to be in, with Katie, Sean, Ryan, Megan, Chris, Steph, Hannah, Sophie, Alex, Polly, and Rachel. Man, the 16 year old as is sad. Yeah, the 16 year old as is sad. I know you're 22 now, so there's probably not much advice a 16 year old can give you, but remember this much, having an imagination isn't a bad thing, no matter how old you are. Be creative, be fearless, dream big, and keep praying, and don't forget that you're a special snowflake. Vicky, age 16, on the 26th of December 2012, at 23 minutes past midnight. Wow, that was a trip. 
And then I wrote a Bible verse from Matthew 5, verses 10 to 12. Those who are treated badly for doing good are happy because the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. People will insult you and hurt you. They will lie and say all kinds of evil things about you because you follow me. But when they do, you will be happy. Rejoice and be glad because you have a great reward waiting for you in heaven. People did the same evil things to the prophets who lived before you. That was a trip. Oh my goodness. I thought, I didn't realize I wrote a letter when I was in my fifth year. I thought the first one I wrote was the year after. So that's crazy. I got an extra letter that I didn't think I was gonna get. Dang. Well, that was 16 year old me. I can't believe I thought I was gonna be married. Man. I am going to end this here. I hope you enjoyed hearing from 16 year old me. That was kind of crazy. And uh, I think I'm gonna go and message my old friends now from when I was 16 because I feel really guilty. <laughs> But yes, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful new year and I hope you are looking forward to lots more Cookie Co videos in 2019 because I have a lot of exciting stuff planned. I will see you guys all very soon. Bye!